Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share all of my September favorites with you guys and I haven't done one in a couple months because in all honesty, they don't get a ton of views on my channel, but I just have a soft spot for favorites videos. It's what I figured out like YouTube was all about. It was like, I think I came across a Juicy Star 07 favorites video like so many years ago and I have always loved them. I really like sharing all the things that I've been loving and I love watching these videos, so I'm still going to do them. <laughs> when I have good stuff to share, of course. I'm not gonna force it, but this month I have a ton of new stuff, so I thought it would be appropriate to share with you guys what I've been loving throughout September. So it's kind of funny that this was my absolute favorite purchase from September, but this is a little iPhone stand, and I've seen these for a couple months, and I honestly thought they were silly. I didn't understand why you would need a stand for your iPhone. Tim makes fun of me because I love watching Instagram stories on it. So I sit this thing on my desk when I'm getting ready in the morning or even if I'm working at my desk and I can still watch Instagram stories and it doesn't distract me. Like I can just kind of fade in and out of them. Whereas like before I'd have to be holding my phone and we all know how distracting that can be. So I've just really liked it and I even move it to my bathroom like when I'm getting ready and doing my hair, I'll just keep my phone up. It's really handy. So if you like watching YouTube on your phone and Instagram stories and all of that, I definitely recommend picking this up. It's $9.99. And I also really like it to do hands-free Instagram story videos. So if you do make Instagram videos, this is also really helpful because you don't have to hold it. So now I see why everyone's raving about these. My next random favorite is another Amazon find. And this is actually a tool to remove the peach fuzz from your face and I have shaved my face for years I've always used those little razors I don't remember what they're called I think they're called like pinkles or something really ran random um, but I've bought them on Amazon for years and I just found over time they aggravate my face and they kind of feel a little scratchy my face is very sensitive so I wanted to try this one and this you cannot feel at all and it does not aggravate my skin whatsoever and it removes all the peach fuzz all throughout your face and it makes your makeup go on way smoother and I'm definitely a fan. So I threw away all those razors. Um, I think this is a little more sanitary. It's not as aggressive. Um, this is not going to be as deep, like as smoothing as termoplaning or the razors, but it still gets the job done. I had been talking a lot on Instagram stories about how awkward I felt at nail salons and how just kind of over I was spending money at them. So I had been looking into doing gel manicures at home and a ton of my followers reached out and said that they did SNS or the dip nails at home. I had no idea that you could do this, but a lot of them recommended this set to try. This is from Amazon. This is the Kiara Sky Dip Kit and you need all four steps. I was super intimidated to try it. It seems, I don't know, it seemed kind of scary. I watched some YouTube videos on how to do it. This is the color I got. This is the Simple Life, also from Kiara Sky. And I have it on right now, if you can see. I don't know how the lighting is. I've been really enjoying it lately, even though it doesn't last as long as I would like. Um, a lot of people said it lasted two or three weeks. It definitely doesn't on me. I know that I always like pick at my nails, so if it starts lifting, I'll end up just popping it off and fixing that one nail. So it doesn't really take a lot of time once you get the steps down and figure it out. So I don't mind kind of fixing them as they mess up. It definitely lasts a lot longer than just regular polish. And I think it just looks a lot nicer because it's shinier. It also makes my nails kind of hard, but not too thick. I was worried it would be too thick. But yeah, I'm definitely planning on doing a tutorial on my blog really soon. I just want to give it a little more time to figure everything out. Over summer, I had a horrible issue with being super oily. I picked up these oil blotting sheets and now I don't leave the house without them. However, I haven't been having to use them because I recently switched to this drugstore foundation and this was also a favorite in August. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and I'm the color 103. This is definitely super matte, so if you have dry skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this for you, but if you love a really matte, flat look, this will definitely do the job for you. It's full coverage, and I've been really enjoying it for a drugstore foundation. I think it's great. In September, I gave the Tarte Shape Tape another try, and I think this had been one of my fails a while ago, maybe even last year, and I didn't love it at first because of the fragrance in it, but with all of like my oily troubles throughout the end of summer, I wanted to give it another try because it's more of a matte, like full coverage concealer. 
and I've just ended up loving it throughout September. It's again full coverage. It really brightens up under the eye. I use the color Fair Light Neutral and it's the perfect shade for me right now. I would definitely need to pick up a lighter shade as my paleness kind of comes out for fall. I wanted to mention this bow clutch from Target. I've been a fan of it ever since I picked it up. I love the wristlet option. It actually looks really nice if you just put it on your wrist and let it hang. A lot of clutches don't look good with the strap, but for whatever reason, I really like this one. I love the bow design, and then inside, I kept the padding in there to keep its shape, but it has a wallet already there, so you definitely can't fit a ton in this, but you can definitely get your necessities, and I think it's a really great buy. I'm sure y'all are getting sick of these boots, but I cannot stop talking about them for good reason. They are only $39.99, and I feel like I need a backup pair. I'm going to be wearing these all fall long. I haven't been wearing them, obviously, a ton because it's still 90 degrees in Georgia, but I think you cannot go wrong. Definitely pick these up for fall. I've been wearing them in every single try-on haul throughout September, so that's why I'm featuring them here in today's favorites video. And go ahead and size up. They do have a pointy toe, so I always end up having to size up in those, but they're really comfortable and you can't really go wrong for 40 bucks. Also, if you're wondering how they are staying up, I always buy these. I got a ton of these from Home Goods, but I'm sure Amazon has them as well. I will link them if I find them, but I have all my boots with these little plastic things inside of them to keep their shape. I have been living in this little top around the house. It's so soft. Um, this was featured in my Target try on haul. I sized up to a medium. You guys just need to feel this. I picked up two colors in it, but I've been especially loving this gray and white version. And I'm going to be wearing it a ton in fall, but it's included in September favorites because I have been wearing this at home like every single weekend. This was my favorite fashion find from September. I just obsessed with all the details in this top. It looks a lot more expensive than it is. It's only $19.99. And I almost want to get like all three colors. I'm not going to though, even though I would like to. But I love the button detail. That's one of my favorite details lately. Like this top has that as well. Um, I really like this color lately. I've been buying so many things in this color. Definitely size up in this. I got an eight and it fits just like a small wood. And this was definitely my favorite fashion purchase from the month. My last fashion favorite is this bracelet. I featured this in my Amazon haul, but I have been wearing it Ever since I got it, really, I stack it with all my other favorite bracelets. I really like the faux gold and silver combo. Um, this one does run super big, but I just found that it's easier to put it against one of the shorter chains instead of this one. Eventually, I will remove it, but for now, this will do. In August, I switched my shampoo and conditioner, and I am convinced that it was causing really bad breakouts and clogged pores. I had like acne on my back, my neck was breaking out, my chin, all through my jawline was breaking out, so I had to make a switch. I've heard a ton of good things about the Barigio hairline, and I actually had tried some of them in my FabFitFun box, so I picked up the shampoo and conditioner at Sephora during that random Sephora sale, and I've been really enjoying it. It leaves my hair really clean, but it doesn't feel stripped at all. The one downside is, I don't know why, but the conditioner like every time I put it in it reminds me of like sunscreen or something that I've used as a child. I don't know what it is. It's totally fine but I don't know what it is. It just reminds me of something. like. Those are all the things I've been loving throughout the month of September. I'm also going to round these up over on my blog. They tend to be a lot more popular on my blog than here on my channel but if you want me to keep sharing my favorites every month then give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep doing them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.